Katrina. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. <laughs> it's time for our full circle discussion where we'd like to spend a little time discussing a subject that's important to us and hopefully meaningful to you. Mm. People are getting surgery to enhance change and augment their appearance is a trend that has seemingly grown in recent years. The pressure to attain a certain look or maintain a certain weight is an issue that affects everyone, despite race, class, and age. Ladies, what do we think social media, what role do we think social media is playing in our individual body image and how is it affecting our self-confidence and worth, or not just us in particular, but the world. Mm -hmm. the world, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the yeah, world. People are very critical, you know, um, and especially social media provides a platform for them to be just as ugly and nasty as they want to be when it comes down to someone, the, the, the outer appearance of someone. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't really agree with that. Um, and, it, and it does put a lot of pressure on individuals to be perfect, mm -hmm. okay? And we must understand that there's no one individual that is perfect. Hello? You are only perfect when you feel that you are personally. Mm -hmm. You should never live up to anyone else's standard or what they think you should look like or be. Um, I do not agree with young people going out getting surgeries early. Mm -hmm. I just don't. Mm -hmm. I just don't. Unless it is something traumatic has happened, then I can understand that. But to say, oh, I want fuller lips at 16, you're not yet fully developed. I want larger breasts at 16. You're not fully developed yet. And I think actually it, it sends the wrong signal from the parent to also the child mm -hmm. that's doing those things. Yeah. And uh, you, you notice a lot of times when people begin so early to, to uh, uh, making those modifications, it's normally it normally becomes a, a habit, mm -hmm. you know. And so you you're, you have a person that's 22, 24 years old, thing, and, and they've they had the next. you know 30 surgeries, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. And I just think that uh, mentally and emotionally, it's just harmful. Yeah, it yeah. really is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially uh, obviously, if you're based on someone else's opinion of why you're doing it, right. right? If you do it like that. Now we we speak openly about Botox. I do have Botox, yeah. and I will say I went from here to here. Here, yep. to here, mm -hmm. and you know, and it, because you just started, you started like, oh, I like the way that looks. That's nice. Uh, that's nice. But it has nothing to do with anybody else. I just mm -hmm. didn't like spaghetti junction right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we got into TV every single day, um, and that camera is on your face. I, my own, nobody said anything. I wanted to change that, and I feel good about myself through the whole Botox yeah. treatment. And let me tell you, Rashawn, when you, when I when you said, and you were so open about getting your Botox, it inspired me to get it, because mm -hmm. I was always afraid and think, you know, thinking, I don't want any surgery or anything. You know, I was very scared about stuff. But that Botox, when I would put, I had this line on my forehead, and it, I've had it since my early 20s, so it wasn't like aging line, it's just there. Right. Like, I'm just mean, you know, I'm just <laughs> mean line. Um, but when I started doing television every single day, right. the makeup creases inside of those creases, mm -hmm. and it's just not attractive. Mm -hmm. And so, and then it's distracting. And then, mm -hmm. then when you see it, it makes you feel uncomfortable. So in, in that instance, I felt like, you know what, I want to try it. And I'm going to tell you, it's the best thing that I've ever done. Mm -hmm. It's smooth. I don't worry about that anymore. And I really don't care what people think. Right, yeah. That In that instance, I feel like um, I did that for me mm -hmm. and for me to be comfortable to be able to um, do what's important here on this show, mm -hmm. which is to be able to entertain, educate, inspire, and motivate, which mm -hmm. is the, the mm -hmm. real true thing. Yeah. And, and to go off what you said, Quad, I, I Pretty much, you know, I agree with everything that you said. Mm -hmm. um, and just to piggyback off of it, I think what one, one of the things that we're missing, not missing, but I just want to bring light to the mental aspect mm -hmm. of what this is. Mm -hmm. um, whether we have social media or a magazine, because it was b before social media, it was right. models yeah. and magazines mm -hmm. being retouched, yes. you know. Yes. Um, whatever the imagery is that is pushed and promoted in our world, mm -hmm. um, it is just um, misleading in general. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we're not, tr because the world is not truthful about what's what. You feel me? It uh, it, it it causes us to mentally mm -hmm. focus on something that's perfection mm. of what is supposed mm -hmm. to be perfect, mm -hmm. right. which makes us feel that we're not. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. I, I think that we have to try and, and start from the root of the mental, you know, where it does too. it start mentally in our yeah. hearts? Yeah. Well, first of all, who determines what perfect is anyway? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm, I'm going to start there. I mean, when I was younger, I was like super de duper teeny weeny, mm -hmm. like itsy bitsy. Mm -hmm. And I felt really bad because I'm like, oh, Trina, you're so skinny, oh, Trina, you're so skinny. They told me I was part of the EBT, the mm -hmm. IBTT. Mm -hmm. So I went, I got mm -hmm. my booby doobies augmented uh -huh. and... Uh, 
wasn't happy. Mm. I mean, it looked cute now. Yeah. But, but <laughs> as you, but as you get older, <laughs> you grow into your adult body right. and your womanly body. And the thing is, people, these young children, they're augmenting themselves and their bodies haven't fully developed yeah. yet. Mm -hmm. And they're changing themselves into something that genetically we already really have Come as, as African-American women. I got one more better when and, you're done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the thing is, and I was like, everybody made me feel so shameful for being thin or mm -hmm. too thin. Yep. And then I gain weight and then I'm too big. Mm. You know what? If I can't please you, I'm sorry. I'm just going to please me yes, and I'm just going to be happy right. with me because that's guess right. what? You never know someone's journey between those times. Yes. 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 And if someone, if, she, if you see someone and they might be o or obese, but you never know what journey they've been on. You never know what, and what happened to And maybe they lost 15 there. pounds. They're a little yes. proud of themselves. Yes. Yes. They, they might have changed their hair, put on a little blush. It takes nothing. Instead of saying, ew, saying, your hair looks nice today. Right. Or your nails look nice today. Don't shame people because they're a certain weight that you don't approve of. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. Oh, yeah. yeah. They do that. Yeah. It is reached not, down to the floor. It, it has nothing to do with me what you think about me. Mm -hmm. that, those absolutely. are your That's thoughts, your not issue, mine. And your That's issues. your issue. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Let's, let's talk a little bit about the integrity that some physicians don't have. Mm. Ooh, All right. Let's get into on, those man. T's. Um, <laughs> It, it is a it is a huge challenge for me when I see you know we're we're in the city of Atlanta mm -hmm. we see a lot of bottoms. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh yeah, this is a tough. One. It is it is so one. unnerving for me to see that a woman who may be 110 pounds has a rear end of a person who may be 150 pounds or 180 or 200 pounds. pounds. Yeah, it, 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 it just doesn't, I mean, it just doesn't add up. Listen, if you want to do something like that, it's, pers it's definitely your choice, mm -hmm. but let's not make it unrealistic. Yes. You understand what I'm and saying? And the doctor should say something he right, should, because absolutely. people come in there and they might want all that foolishness. Be the one to say, no. You may yeah. think about yes. it being a little smaller. I'm not doing yeah, that. Yeah, or, yeah. Well, or your body it. hasn't developed it's, enough yet yeah. to get this much done shouldn't to your body. It shouldn't be about the money. It, yes. shouldn't be. Uh, it, should, it should not be about the money. And a lot of times we have some physicians, I know we have to wrap, wrap up this segment, um, <laughs> that are just all about the money, the coins. How many people can I get on the books today? Do we, mm -hmm. Oh, I, I'm seeing 25 people today? Cool. Yeah. How much money does that equate to? You gotta have integrity in yeah. everything mm -hmm. that you do. Yes. So check yourself. And, and do your research before you augment anything mm -hmm. or Absolutely. change anything. It's, yeah. Again, as we stated, it is your choice, but do it for the right reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Send us your thoughts at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. We'll be right back. Booyah! That's my age. <laughs> <laughs>